Hey guys, welcome back to JDM7 Variety. And after playing all the Halo games recently, I decided on taking a trip down memory lane and diving into the world of Halo. Bungie's flagship IP. So get your Spartan armor ready and your battle rifles and let's get into it. first game we're going to talk about is Halo Combat Evolved. Now I must admit, I didn't initially play it when it released all the way back in 2001. It wasn't until 2019 that I got my hands on it. And at the same time, I was immersed in the Halo book series. Can you imagine the excitement? In my humble opinion, Halo Combat Evolved has stood the test of time. It remains a true classic. I highly recommend giving it a giving it a go even if it's just once the game was a game changer for xbox and played a significant role in popularizing the fps genre without it many of our beloved fps games may never have existed the xbox is everything the rock is cutting edge powerful exhilarating and like the rock it will be the most electrifying thing coming out this year and what The Rock is to sports entertainment, to the WWF, the Xbox will be to the video game industry, a breakthrough and certainly an original. Ah, uh, Halo 2. The game that revolutionized online gaming with the birth of Xbox Live. I don't think I need to remind you of the impact the Xbox Live had. The way we played games changed forever. Halo 2's multiplayer especially in the Master Chief Collection, still holds up today. The battles, the camaraderie, the intense competition, it all became the norm thanks to Halo 2 and Xbox Live's magic. Halo has always been famous for its secrets and surprises, and Halo 2 took this to a whole new lever, level as we uncovered hidden terminals and discovered the depths of the mysterious Forerunner history. We couldn't help but be amazed by the intricate world building. Let's not forget about the incredible boss battles that pushed our skills to the limit. From the iconic showdown with Tartarus to the epic confrontation on the capital ship, the battles were unforgettable. It is easy. Take the icon in your hands and do as you are told. Please use caution. This reclaimer is delicate. One more word, Oracle, and I'll rip your eye from its socket. Mm. Which is nothing compared to what I'll do to you. Tartarus, stop. Mm. Impossible. Put down the icon. Put it down and disobey the Hierarchs? There are things about Halo even the Hierarchs do not understand. <laughs> Take care, Arbiter. What you say is heresy. Is it? Oracle. 
What is Halo's purpose? Collectively, the seven. A word. Please. Don't shake the light bulb. If you want to keep your brain inside your head, I tell those boys to chill. Go ahead. Do your thing. The sacred rings. What are they? Weapons of last resort, built by the Forerunners to eliminate potential flood hosts, thereby rendering the parasite harmless. And those who made the rings? What happened to the Forerunners? After exhausting every other strategic option, my creators activated the rings. They and all additional sentient life in three radii of the Galactic Center died as planned. Would you like to see the relevant data? Tartarus, the Prophets have betrayed us. No, Arbiter! The great journey has begun, and the brutes, not the elite, shall be the Prophet's escort. Halo 2's campaign was more than just a game. It was an immersive experience that left a lasting impact on both casual gamers and diehard fans alike. It solidified its place in gaming history as one of the best FPS campaigns of all time. Golden Era of Halo, Halo 3. The best multiplayer experience in all of Halo. From thrilling custom games to an immersive campaign, Halo 3 truly left its mark on the gaming industry. In my opinion, Halo 3's multiplayer is unrivaled. Skill was paramount, and the weapons were nothing short of awesome. The exhilaration of driving a warthog throughout the game is a feeling that's hard to replicate. I still remember spending hours at their school, completely immersed in this fantastic multiplayer universe. There is simply nothing better. But let's not overlook the campaign, which captivated players with its intriguing story and memorable characters. This installment added a, added a depth that surpassed its predecessors, solidifying the first three Halos as one of the greatest trilogies in gaming history. What made the campaign truly remarkable was its incredible replayability. Whether it was collecting skulls or embarking on legendary missions with friends and family, fun never seemed to end. Thankfully, Halo 3 lives on through the Master Chief Collection, allowing us to relive those cherished moments from years gone by. I am grateful that I can still enjoy it, just as I did when I was younger. Of course, I can't forget about the custom games. They were an absolute blast, spending endless nights with friends creating unforgettable memories is something I'll always cherish. The creativity and excitement that custom games brought to the table were unparalleled. Something I miss about Halo 3 though, is that you could meet people on this game back in the day. Which is something I can't say about modern gaming sadly. Back in the day, gaming was different. It wasn't just about playing, it was about connecting with others. Sometimes I wish Bungie didn't pass it over to 343, but it's in the past now. This game had something special. Something that is missing in modern gaming. Nowadays, it seems like the social aspect of gaming has been lost. It's all about playing alone or against strangers online. Back then, we could meet people, make friends, and create lasting memories. 
I hope one day gaming will bring back that sense of community and camaraderie. Until then, I'll always cherish the memories I made on this game. For us, the storm has passed. The war is over. But let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. For their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their fight, our fight, was elsewhere. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren, a memorial to heroes fall. They ennobled all of us, and they shall not be forgotten. started, what your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you, but you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Part of the ladies did. Were it so easy. Next on the list is Halo Reach, the most divisive title in the franchise. Contrary to popular belief, this game is not as bad as it is often as it is often portrayed. Personally, I consider it to be the second best installment in the Halo franchise. However, it's important to know that we're not diving into the multiplayer because I think it suffers from excessive gloom and annoying armor abilities. Where Halo Reach truly shines though is in its captivating campaign. This must-play storyline offers a fresh perspective on the Human Covenant War, inject injecting a sense of realism that sets it apart from the earlier Halo games. It's a stark reminder that the fight was already heavily skewed against humanity before Master Chief and Cortana emerged. Without the valiant efforts of Noble Team, this war would have been lost entirely. Hey. Looks Should like they got him? themselves cornered, or were committed to the position. I'm going with cornered. There's nothing here. No load bearing columns either. Sir, if we're supposed to blow this place, this ain't the spot to do it from. Dot, check your vector. Vector confirmed, Commander. We are precisely where Oni has directed. Apologies. Coordinates revised. Please confirm. Revised? By an AI of unknown origin. Additionally, let's not forget the incredible custom games that breathe new life into Halo Reach long after its release. While I still believe that Halo 3 offered superior custom game options, Reach certainly expanded the possibilities and with it and with the inclusion of the Master Chief Collection, custom games have been further enhanced, providing an even richer experience for the plethora of content to explore. Ultimately, this exploration of Halo Reach uncovers overlooked brilliance and unveils the controversial nature of this game. Jin.
last game we're going to talk about is Halo ODST. This captivating campaign and exhilarating firefight mode. In Halo ODST, the campaign takes you on a journey to the war-torn streets of New Mombasa as you assume the role of the rookie, an ODST looking for his team. The campaign is packed with intense combat scenarios, offering a fresh perspective on the Halo universe. Ms. Naval Intelligence, our new boss. So check your mouths, find your chairs, and get set for a combat drop. From engaging firefights to stealthy approaches, ODST delivers varied and immersive gameplay. But it's not just about the action. The storyline is rich with mystery and intrigue, featuring memorable characters that add depth to the overall narrative. It's you. I thought... Never mind. What was your name again? Inside. Now. Let's not forget about the firefight mode. A true standout feature in Halo ODST. It puts you and your friends against relentless ways of coming to forces that it's, they'll stop at nothing to fight you, providing endless hours of heart-pounding excitement. The adrenaline rush you get from surviving wave after wave of enemies is just awesome. The mode's dynamic AI and custom customizable ability guarantee that no two matches are ever the same. In summary, Halo ODST unquestionably delivers one of the best campaigns in the series and an awe-inspiring firefight mode that will leave you craving for more. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention is Forge Mode. Forge Mode has been included in every Halo after Halo 3, and it's safe to say it has had a really big impact on the game. Forge Mode is a virtual sandbox where you can let your creativity run wild. With Forge Mode, you have the power to sculpt your own maps, placing objects and structures wherever you want. And the possibilities were endless. And it's not just about creating maps. Forge Mode allows you to customize game modes as well. You can even create obstacle courses, race tracks, and so much more. But the best part is, you could share your creations with the Halo community, upload maps and game modes for others to play and enjoy. You could even let, you can even join multiplayer matches on custom games created by fellow players. It's a whole new level of community engagement and creativity, which is something that is missing in modern gaming. Whether you're making funny things to show your friends or cool modes for custom games, it has a special place in every Halo player's heart, and I couldn't imagine the series without it. And there you have it, a nostalgic trip through the best Halo games. And again guys, if you haven't experienced them, I highly recommend it. They're iconic, and I've played a significant role in shaping the gaming landscape we know today. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.